So, and that brings us directly to uh, what we call uh, the feeling and the order of prosperity. Mm. If you learn how to manage that, and you're not afraid all the time of that something will lack you up front, mm -hmm. because if you are doubting, if you are af afraid of that, it means that you are doubting your own power mm. to succeed. Mm. So sun chasing success. That's why I need to believe that. Yeah. that the sun will be there yeah. rising for you every day. So if you don't believe it, what do you think that you just block out the sun? So you really black out the sun. And that it, what you were yeah. saying that there are many people earning a lot of money and they are not happy. Might, some people might look at us and say, "Oh, they are dreamers." <laughs> yeah. They are. They are dreamers, but look, yeah. I know from personal knowledge, by knowing people from different classes and different positions in life with access to more and less resources, that a lot of these people, they are enslaved in their mm. own positions of power, of beliefs, of mm -hmm. comfort, of material life. They are mm. on the drugs, like medications that are re really hard. They're having problems to sleep. They're not having time to have fun in their lives. So. Right. From comparing this, I say I'm on the right way. And if I'm a dreamer, I would tell you, yes, I am. And good, the good thing about it is that I've been accomplishing with all the dreams I've been having. What allows me to have more dreams, because I know that if I keep doing the same thing, like <laughs> believing on myself, uh -huh. I will be able to reach and make other dreams come true. So when we work with travel, and if you come here to meet me, you have mm -hmm. a dream of having the best experience in your life. And my uh -huh. goal as a travel agent is to offer you that. How can I be one of these people that will offer you the, 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 your dream coming true, you know? Because we mm -hmm. work with dreams. And you, I will only be able to yeah. offer this. I believe and do that by myself, for myself. Wow. It reminds me of the, uh, the book by Paulo Coelho, The Alchemist. And mm -hmm. how he just keeps meeting, the boy keeps meeting people on his path. It reminds me of that idea of the vision quest. Um, you just have the vision and you start and you go. And that's the beautiful thing I think about life and just people in general. Uh, I had an Ethiopian woman tell me one time, she says that like God doesn't, God answers people, uh, God answers prayers through people and I never forgot that so then any time in my life I always remembered that through through thoughts and through activity and through movement and through people is how we solve problems is how we change value exchange value and how things actually work you know and I think that type of pro that's when you say the, the the laws of natural prosperity if you understand that money is only exchanged between people and organizations and places, then it's just a matter of uh, organizing yourself as a part of, of that flow in some way uh -huh. or another. So it opens the possibilities more to giving and, and I can tell you that, that this works out, like from a personal experience. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 44 or 43 years old. I don't remember. Oh, forever yeah. young. <laughs> but like uh, from a personal point of view with all the work and uh, I do and all the passion, I've been like really uh, having all of this coming into place together, working yeah, out yeah. with That's a healthy amazing. mind, good friends, a lot of love. Peace and love is not outdated, guys. Not it's at not all. Outdated. Not at all. Right. Especially now we see so much happening in the world. Um, that's one of the things that I wanted to focus on with my podcast and with everything I'm doing is just to focus on uh, the, the steps that people need, the wisdom that people need, the vision that people have for success. And when I say sun chasing, it was always about, okay, fulfillment and success. Because if you isolate success and achievement and it's just numbers and it's just another number and it's, there's nothing you're going to do with it or enjoy with it then to me, it's not the same success. So that's what this is all about. And um, so I had another great question for you. Um, 
So you do the, so for example, people that are coming to Rio, you have things that are itineraries, you have plans, you have maps. I remember you talking about that on one of your other shows. You have maps and things to show people a pathway yes. based on what they want, what kind of adventure they want, right? Exactly. Well, since we work like in a coverage of about 16 states in, in Brazil and we have 27, okay. Right. And we have this network of guides spread and they are like black people, local people from rural areas, cities, indigenous people, and we work together. So we have a lot to offer. So each place will have also the local specialists that we are always in constant dialogue with them. So the way we do it, we hear from people what they want. We also have our experiences in different OTAs such as Viator, Airbnb, uh, Expedia, okay. Get Your Guide, etc. But we also offer a tailored experience when you get in touch with us and you say, that's my profile. I like art or I like uh, okay. music. What, what do you want to get out of that? What is your feeling? What is your spirit craving for? Let's start with the soul. So then we we'll say, with what you are telling me, we have these and these and that to offer with these people so these are the prices and we align things until you feel satisfied that you're on the right track and so far like the experience that we have been having from our network is if someone comes from one place to another being with a guide from another state they are already coming to us very easy because they are ready with a big smile saying everything went great so <laughs> you know because people have a fear of, oh, I'm booking these, I don't know them in person. But then they meet the first guy, they have the first experience, then they relax. And yeah. they know that they are in good hands. So they go to the next one. It's, I receive a lot of people that are already very easy to navigate together. But they are I already see. very friendly, very, very relaxed, and that's good. And one thing that we are working on, because now we are, we are not having income at this time mm-hmm. of because of the pandemic. And because right, and I was going to ask you about that as well. COVID. The adjustments that you made because of COVID. So many of us uh, are doing other things, such as like I give uh, English classes as well, Portuguese classes, mm-hmm. and other friends that uh, they are always also chefs, they're guides, they are travel agents, but they know how to cook. So they are writing like a travel book, and they they did a crowdfunding campaign, something that you can participate. We have Mm -hmm. guides from the favelas that are working on social uh, campaigns and we are supporting each other like to fundraise for to buy food for the people in the favelas the slums Mm -hmm. to buy people things to clean their hands so we are making this mobilization to deal with the direct impacts that are related to health and the basic needs but also ourselves we are doing the different things that we know how to do and one of the products that I'm building on now is uh, that our shoe. I started to do an audio guide with the Little Africa Black History okay. Walk. Yeah, I saw that. I was going to ask you about that. Yes. Uh huh. So I did a, a first free sample that I'm testing on because it's different. The way we have to work now, we don't have the archaeological site in front of you, the building or the food for you to taste. So we need to improve on our storytelling skills. And we adapt to these new technologies to offer virtual tours. So now I'm running this campaign to ask for people to donate. So it helps me to finish writing the script for the storytelling for that route. And also to pay a studio and other people from our network are supporting me as well to help me like with equipment. So we can go to a studio, record these storytellings and put on different platforms so people can download and hear our stories from a distance. And already from wherever you are, you can connect with us and help you like drive your planning and motivate you to come. So and there is, is a second yeah. project as well. That's amazing. So this first project, let me ask you then, is it's more about, okay, we have this period of time where a lot of people are inside and it's kind of a hold over time. So during this time, they can take the Little Africa Black History Walk, and but it's going to be like a virtual audio experience. Is it going to have a, a visual component as well, or you're going to 
have like them pointing. Oh, this one things. is the audio guide. That will mm -hmm. be the audio version of it. And I think I will be launching at the end of the month if uh, if the people who are supporting me with the technical skills also they are offering their time to support me with that. Mm -hmm. So people are welcome to volunteer with money, but also with expertise or with marketing for that. And I will be recording these stories so people can hear my own voice guiding them, like GPS oriented, <laughs> so they they know they start they have a starting points that place they can create a vision also in their minds and they can I even see. open Google Maps. Okay, go so to they the can same spot, go along online. Look at three D and listen or. Anytime if you're having your coffee, you can listen to that. I see. And uh, I hope I'm very compelling <laughs> and I can make like sure. yeah. and navigate very well through this new technology. But for oh. those who already want to check and support my first draft, uh, it's on the Geo Tourists app. Okay. G E O Tourists app. Okay. Uh, GeoTourists.com. If you download the app. Okay. So we'll put that in the yes. show notes as well. But GeoTourists.com. Is it slash yes. profile, forward slash profile? So you have the little Africa tour. Okay, got you. And then the Rio and then you had the uh, the research. Anybody that wants to connect with you, um, was that the other website, the WordPress? Any like you said, researchers, tour guides. Exactly. So people, if they want to get in touch with through my WordPress as well, it's where I have a blog where I write about some of these experiences because the Hewen Cantos website is like a shop, a web shop. Okay. So it doesn't really uh, translate to all the things that we work on together because okay. it's very expensive to manage and keep a website up to date and really uh, make sure that it really represents what you are offering as a product. Yeah. So since it's expensive, for me, it was cheaper to open a blog and keep like updating okay. with the trips and so resources there. And that blog so I, is the kellytav.wordpress.com? Yes, thank you very okay. much. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure everybody gets that. So it's kellytav.wordpress.com and we'll have that as well on my blog as well so that everybody can connect to that and also at the bottom of this video. You Thank know. you very much. I appreciate that. Now tell